A mission failure of a new generation of rockets made by ISRO. The first launch took place of this SSLV rocket. While the initial stages fired perfectly, uh, the rocket was unable to inject the satellites. There were two on board into the correct orbit, uh, and they, th those are unusable. That's what ISRO has now said, um, which is unfortunate because there was a lot of hope rising uh, you know, on this mission. But ISRO says they'll work out the problems. They seem to have identified what went wrong. There was a sensor. Uh, malfunction, uh, a detection of a sensor malfunction which didn't take place, um, which is why this actually took place. So they say they're going to come back with another launch soon. This is what uh, the ISRO chairperson said just a few minutes back. Namaskar viewers. The small satellite launch vehicle is a new generation rocket ISRO is developing for the commercial market for launching of small satellites uh, that is emerging today in India and the whole world. We are very happy to tell you that the first launch, the experimental, the developmental launch of SSLV carrying two satellites, EOS-02 and Asadisat took place today. That's the seventh uh, morning at 9, 18 hours. The vehicle took off majestically uh, with its burning of the first stage and its uh, solid first stage and also the subsequent stages, the second stage SS-2 and the third stage SS-3 all performed uh, very well nominally. The entire vehicle uh, performance was very good in the mission. And, and finally, when it reached an orbit and an altitude of 356 kilometers, the satellites were separated, both EOS-02 and Asadisat were separated. However, we subsequently noticed an anomaly in the placement of the satellites in the orbit. The satellites were placed in an elliptical orbit in place of a circular orbit. Uh, the 356 kilometer circular orbit was our intended orbit, but it could place the satellite in an orbit of 356 by 76 kilometer, 76 being the lowermost point which is closest to the surface of the earth. So when you place satellites in such an orbit, the <coughs> orbit will not stay for a long time due to atmospheric drag, the satellites will come down and uh, the satellites have already come down from that orbit and they are no longer usable. And we found that this issue related to the SSLV has been reasonably identified, but we will go deeper into it. It is primarily due to one of logic that exists in the rocket to identify a sensor failure and go for a salvage option. That means the, the system uh, has a deficiency which we need to look at very carefully and correct it with regard to a sensor isolation principle. And, but for that problem, we couldn't see any other anomaly. But for that, every other new element that has been incorporated in this rocket performed very well, including the propulsion stages, overall hardware, its aerodynamic designs, new generation and low cost control electronics, uh, electronics uh, control systems, new separation systems, the entire architecture of the rocket, everything has been proven uh, very first time in the rocket and we are very happy about that part. What we are going to do now is to identify this specific problem and why this isolation happened and why it went into a not acceptable orbit. We will go through a very detailed evaluation in days to come through an expert set of people who are working right now uh, continuously from this point onwards and they will come out with a set of recommendations which we can implement without any delay. And we hope that with the small corrections and further revalidation of those corrections through adequate number of tests. We will come back for launch uh, for the next development flight of SSLV, SSLV D2, very soon and as the earliest. And we are hoping that the, with the second development of flight, we will become completely successful in proving the vehicle to place satellites in the intended orbit for our commercial use uh, for India and the whole world. Thank you so much for watching this view of the launch of SSLV and also supporting ISRO's programs for generating Atmanur Parada and also to have indigenous capability to have small satellite launches from Indian soil. We continue our effort with dedication and hard work to make it a grand success. Thank you.